Hey, what's up guys? It's been a while since I've uploaded, but I have a reason and I have something really cool to show you. So, long story short, I have a really old computer I will show you here. Look at it, decrepit, decrepit, decrepit. It, yeah, it, it needed an update. It's rusty, it's dusty, it's gross. <laughs> yes, I lost hours and hours of edited footage and, and videos for my YouTube channel and I was just devastated, devastated. But I have come back, I have built a computer, and it has a Gundam theme, so let's get right into it. Now, if you guys are aware of the Asus Gundam collab, it is a super cool line that has MOBOs, it has everything. I know we're not a computer parts program, but if you're into computers, they have a whole line of Gundam things that are the RX-78 and the Zaku-2, Shar Zaku-2 of course, so it's Amuro and Shar. <laughs> Super, super cool. Uh, I think you guys can guess which way I decided to go. The Asus Gundam line I thought was originally set for Asia only, but it started showing up in our micro centers and scalpers got a hold of a lot of our stuff. So it's super expensive on eBay or anywhere else. But the one that I got is going to be your budget option. It's not the brand new Sharzaku 2. It is the older Sharzaku 2. I actually think it looks better than the new case but it's only $119 and I got it right off of Amazon next day shipping. I did originally order it from Newegg. Newegg has never let me down before, but it let me down in the case of getting my Gundam case. They literally lost it and they couldn't update me. So I said, screw it, refund me and got it right off of Amazon. So I'm gonna leave the link down below so that you can get this case too, if you want it, and check out the other one. Without further ado, I'm going to show some super sexy footage of my awesome case. And you know what, for those who, who care, I'm gonna put the pieces at the end. You guys can like just look at the cool stuff and then you can dip out at the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if this is your first time being here or if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? I heard that you just have to ask. So I am asking, <laughs> I am asking you guys humbly to share my stuff, to to be happy and be healthy and build all the time. I don't. I, I'm not good at self promotion. So yes, I hope you guys really, really liked this build. If you have any questions about it, let me know. I'm about to get into the Corsair components and other components that I put inside of it. So if you're not interested in that, thank you for watching and subscribe and like and comment or just say hi. Come find me on any of my links in my Instagram. That's where I'm most active. Yeah, thank you for watching and let's get into the components real, real quick. The biggest thing about the build on this computer is that it was able to hold the processing power to do the editing for my videos and we achieved that with the Ryzen 9. This is the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core. So this is what's gonna make it easier for me to do all my processing and this is the biggest thing that I did with the case. So you cannot see the processor because of these bad boys right here. I will put all the information down below. As you can see from the footage, it looks really, really cool. What I ended up having to do is the case itself came with these two bands at the top, 
they were at the front, but I had to move the uh, the fans here for, in order for it to fit and then put the other fans up here, which kind of sucks because this is supposed to be the green and the red for the mono eye, but it looks just as cool up top. But yeah, that, these, if you don't know anything about Corsair, I highly suggest Corsair, I love it. The headset, these are the voids, these are amazing. And then I have, of course, I can't remember, I wanna say it's called the Dark Matter, I'm not sure, but it's a wireless mouse. Yeah, this is the Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro SE. So highly suggest this if you like wireless mouses. The graphics card came from my old computer. If you want to know anything about it, just ask me down below. I'll let you know what it is. It's nothing crazy. I'm looking for a 3080 Ti, but so is everybody else, right? <laughs> then of course the MOBO was important. It's the X570 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi MOBO Faux Show. These are the really cool RAM that I actually have. The Vengeance RGB Pro SL. If I had the money, this thing would be like, like just intercooled tubes everywhere, like mineral liquid, like it would be amazing. It would be really cool. But for now, this is what I need to get me back on YouTube and back to creating. And that's what we're going with. So stick around. If you guys have any suggestions for how I can improve this on a budget, let me know. Cause right now I'm just looking for a graphics card. There is a Zaku 2 fan that actually has a Zaku head that goes over here, right where this rainbow is. And I didn't buy it, it was a little expensive, so I just kept it to, you know, just doing the case for now. But I thought it was really funny that the Wi-Fi antenna kind of looks like a Zaku fin. So I think I'm going to put red on it and make it look like a Zaku fin. I have literally so much that I want to talk about. I want to talk about Hathaway's Splash. I have a whole bunch of kids. I never got to update on that. <sighs> We're doing catch up, we're playing catch up and we're making more content and we're coming back to the world. Uh, it's time to breathe a little bit of life into Gunpla YouTube because it's getting a little stagnant and stale. So I have arrived to fix that for you guys. It just seems like I can't find the magic. What's the word I'm looking for? The recipe for how to show Gunpla off in the best possible way that appeases everybody. <laughs> oh. I have a whole bunch of stuff that people sent me through P.O. boxes. I have a whole bunch of things that I need to show you guys. A whole bunch of things. Oh my gosh. I bought way more kits than I need to. And I've also got some backordered stuff from Hobby Link Japan that I'm not really happy about. But I did get the Tall Geese Flugel from the P. Bandai website. I never get those. So let me have this one. So I should be able to have that to review for you guys in case they reprint it, in case you can find it. If you guys were on for the Flugel pre-order on the Pete Bandai site, let me know because it was an absolute bloodbath <laughs> to get it. <laughs> like more so than usual. I really think Bandai didn't understand how many wing fans we have over here in the West. So hopefully you got it. I hope you got it. I hope you do. And if not, I hope they reprint it. And if not, you don't need it anyways. <laughs> But yes, thank you for watching my video, guys. If you have any questions whatsoever about this, let me know. I got it on the cheap cheap. I think it looks really cool. Like, come on. I, the, the cool part about this one over the newer Zaku 2 is a shoulder shield is a, is a headphone holder. Like, I mean, I know it's like so, it's tiny, but I don't know, it makes me happy. I mean, let me know. I've seen so many people who actually have the RX-78 keyboard and the mouse pad and everything like that, and I kind of want everything Gundam. But for right now, I'm super happy with my Shard Zaku 2 Edition Tough Gaming $119 Amazon find. Get the next day. Case. Disclaimer. Don't come at me for my cable management. <laughs> I'm still cleaning up everything and I'm, I'm gonna hide this and it's gonna look all better because I wanna start streaming here and I need more desk room. But as you can see, it's not been stopping me from building every single time I'm here. I'm so super excited to be back. I'm excited to finally have a computer that's gonna be able to handle all my video processing. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you for your patience. And let me know if there's anything that you particularly really want me to cover or something that I can go find for you. If I can spend my money to help you save your money, I will gladly do it. Let me know what you guys wanna see. I will see you next time super soon, I promise. <laughs> Unless something, wait. I'm just not gonna say anything. I don't have the best luck with most things. I'm just not gonna say anything. But yes, isn't she pretty? I love her so much. All right, thank you guys for watching, bye.
but oh check this out this is also an Amazon find that I got for I think it was $24 it's totally worth it I will leave the link down below for you guys that to see that too but I found this at my card store the other day I cannot wait to do this I'm not as talented with painting people so I'm pretty excited to do this it's the Earth Federation platoon briefing set. It's really, really cool. I'm sure you guys have seen people like Zaku do it. Um, Zaku Aurelius. I, I just, I just assume people know who he is at this point. But yeah, uh, I'm kind of excited about this. Are you guys wanting to see what this kit looks like, or you want to see me struggle with painting people? Thank you. 